where I am, but I love winter squash so much that I want it in as early as possible. So I'm going to do my first planting now. And my kinds of winter squash that I love to grow are sugar pumpkin, small sugar pumpkin from Harris. That's what it's called. It's delicious. Honey nut, which is a mini butternut. It's super sweet. It's great for one or two people. It's the, one of my favorite squashes. And the last one I'm going to grow is a buttercup. It's an oval green one. It's excellent baked with some brown sugar. Oh, it's so good. So anyway, we're gonna fill our seeding cells and I'm gonna take a Sharpie and winter squash is bigger seeds. So you're gonna to wanna to go down at least an inch. And I'm just gonna make some holes in the center of the cells, with the Sharpie. I kind of spin the Sharpie around and make the hole a little bit uh, wider than the actual Sharpie. Just do a circular motion. Now that I have all my holes done, I'll start with my buttercup, and you can see how big this seed is. Look at the size of that seed. So I'm just gonna take them and drop one in each cell. I'm gonna do the same thing with honey nut. Now you can see on the buttercup, that's just the white seed coat. On the honey nut, see how it's pink? That's because it's usually treated with something that will help that seed germinate and fight off any bacteria or fungus in the early stages protect the roots. If that's the case, you're going to want to use like a latex glove or a seeding cell and then just kind of flick them in. And last but not least is my sugar pumpkin. You can see these ones are actually blue, but same concept. Now that I have all my seeds in, I'm going to want to put labels in before I cover so I don't forget what's what. Take some of my seed starting mix, just cover it on top. I'm going to do that. I'm going to water lightly and keep it moist until they germinate. In winter squashes, they don't need a heat mat or humidity chamber to germinate. It's fine at regular room temperature. Get, get seed in. Hope you had some fun. If you have any questions on winter squash, make sure you ask me in the comments below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you.